Hi, this is David Harper of Bionic Turtle. I wanted to quickly illustrate the idea of option delta. Delta is one of the Greeks, along with vega and gamma and rho and theta, that describes important sensitivities about a stock option. It's used for hedging. It also underlies the Black Scholes Merton model. So to illustrate option delta here, I just imagined some input assumptions. These would go into an option pricing model. I'm just going to assume this is a European style call option where the stock price is 10, the strike or exercise is 10, volatility is 30%, riskless rate is 4%, and a contractual term of one year. So this is a European style call option that must be exercised in one year where the strike of 10 matches the stock price of ten dollars. If I plug this into the Black Scholes option pricing model, I'll get a value of a dollar thirty-eight. There's another variable called D1. I'm going to spare you the math on that. That happens to return 0.28. And now the delta of the European call option happens to be just simply n of D1. N is a probabilistic function that is the standard normal cumulative distribution function. And in Excel, it's straightforward. It's simply norm as dist of that D1, which in our case here is 0.28. And so what that tells me is the delta of this European style call option with these inputs is 0.61. What does that mean? I'd like to first interpret it graphically here. This plot of the blue line is simply on the y-axis the price of the call option as a function of the stock price. So for example at the stock price of ten dollars that's this dot here that happens to match a dollar thirty-eight the price of the call option. And as you would expect if the stock price goes up to eleven the price of this call option goes up to something around two dollars. The higher the strike price, we become in the money, and the value of the call goes up. As the as the stock price goes down, we are out of the money, and the call option is going down in price. And importantly, this is a nonlinear function, and so delta helps us here because delta is the slope of a line that is tangent to this curve and so if I try to put it about where the uh, stock of ten dollars starts maybe that's about here that tangent line is going to meet this line at one point and then the slope of that line if I were to get that right I wouldn't have to look it up because it's the delta the slope of this tangent line here at stock price equals ten is 0.61 and now here is the plot of the delta. So at $10, that's this point here, that matches about 0.61. See how this plot of delta is a plot of the slope of this tangent line, such that if we think about the stock price going up, the option is becoming progressively more in the money and you can see visually the slope of this line is increasing and that's why this delta is increasing as well and it's asymptotic to 1.0 it's never going to hit quite 1.0 but as the option becomes progressively more in the money delta approaches 1 and if uh, if we go the other direction the stock price decreasing you can see then the option is becoming progressively out of the money and the slope of this tangent line is becoming more shallow and you can see the plot of the delta is asymptotic to zero as the option becomes progressively out of the money delta converges to zero okay how could I use this here with delta of 0.61 what it means is I can set up a riskless hedge let me start with the idea of shorting 100 call options if I short that means I write 100 call options if I write 100 call options I multiply that by 0.61 I can take a long position in 61 outright shares and I've created a riskless portfolio this portfolio is perfectly hedged at least instantaneously at least in a moment of time just to illustrate consider my 61 shares and again the ratio of shares to short call options is, is 
delta. So that's by design I set this up. Delta informs the ratio. I'm sh I'm long 61 shares, so the value of that is 61 times $10 per share, $612. I'm short 100 call options, and the value of that is 100 times $1.38 per call option, or uh, 138. But I'm short, so it's the difference. My portfolio value here is $474. Now, if we just imagine, I'll go down here just to, and just imagine a scenario where the stock drops, drops from ten to nine dollars. Now, if I were just holding shares, I would lose a dollar per share. And in fact, if we look at this line, there's some rounding here, but I lose sixty-three dollars, or about a dollar per each of the sixty-one shares that I'm long. Okay, that would be my unhedged shares, but the value of the sh uh, short of the call options was also reduced by fifty four dollars i'm short those so i actually profit from those such that the difference between the loss on my shares that i'm long and the gain on the call options that i'm short is only eight dollars they don't quite net each other to zero but this is closer to zero than it is to an outright loss in the shares and just illustrates that this is an approximate hedge if the stock went the other direction I would gain on my long position in shares and I would lose on my short position on the options and so the idea is that at least locally and instantaneously this is a perfect hedge an important point about this is that as soon as the stock moves my hedge doesn't work anymore strictly speaking and I would need to rebalance in order to maintain a delta neutral hedge so strictly speaking this is somewhat theoretical because I would need to be rebalancing very frequently in order to maintain the hedge but the hedge could be informed by this delta ratio so that's an illustration of delta I hope this was helpful this is David Harper the Bonnock Turtle thanks for your time mm -hmm.